Tonight, the governor's mansion is shining blue in honor of the fallen law enforcement officers in Dallas. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis joining us live from there with more on the governor's message to Texans tonight. Amanda? Well, tonight there's a small memorial of candles and flowers as Governor Greg Abbott asked Texans and the nation to unite. But today we've also heard some rhetoric from politicians that some are calling divisive. Get back! Get back! Days leading up to the terror in Dallas, voices calling for racial justice echoed loudly across the country. Just last night, hundreds protested peacefully in Austin. I didn't even make it home but by the time I heard about what was going on in Dallas. I was getting text messages from people like saying be safe and all these things. Brincia Berry with the Austin Justice Coalition says hearing that news was painful. I don't think that what happened should hurt the movement, but I've already heard, you know, rhetoric divisive rhetoric about groups like Black Lives Matter and Austin Justice Coalition who are seeking racial justice and police accountability. She says some of those comments came from Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who on Fox News Channel called Dallas protesters hypocrites, saying they ran the other way, expecting the men in blue to protect them. My reaction is that it is wrong and unjust to oversimplify the deep wounds and the deep issues that are taking place in this nation right now and to pit each other, pit ourselves against each other is not uh, representative to, of, to me, good leadership. Chief Art Acevedo also reacted to the interview. I couldn't disagree more with Lieutenant Governor Patrick and shame on him that he's doing to Black Lives Matter what we in policing hate what is doing, being done to us. Activists like Barry say they're grieving and hope the nation can come together when it's needed most. We've reached out to the Lieutenant Governor's office for a statement and are waiting on that. We're told the blue lights here will shine for five days, one for each officer who lost their life. Reporting live from the Governor's Mansion, Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. New at 10,